All right, welcome back everyone. Partly cloudy skies and warm today. This is a live look from our Garland Shelton Skylab weather camera along I-35 there at Midway Drive. It's a nice afternoon, a little bit of a breeze blowing, yeah, but it is awfully hot and it's gonna stay hot for us. We don't see any real cool down on the way for us, maybe a degree or two, but for the most part, short story is summertime has arrived a couple of weeks early. We're seeing a little bit of rain out in the mountains of far west Texas, extending on up into New Mexico. Dry line positioned right up and down north and south of the big bend back up into the Texas Panhandle is going to be the active spot for redevelopment of showers. Anticipate that to occur and make its way back towards the southeast, possibly brushing our area with a shower or two in the late night, early morning hours tomorrow morning. 98 to High in Waco, 95 in Temple, 97 in Killeen. Gatesville coming in at 95 for their high today, 95 as well in Marlin. And as I mentioned, they got a little bit of rain across Falls County as that stuff came in this morning. We're going to go with about a 20% chance of a rain shower in the late night hours for us tonight, much like last night. If there's going to be anything, it's going to be well after midnight. Until then, clear sky, sultry conditions, 75 the overnight low, and winds out of the southeast around 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday, or as Leslie likes to call it, Friday Eve. Hot and breezy tomorrow. 20% chances of showers. A high getting up to 97 with south winds 10 to 15. Kind of breezy. So a nice little gusty wind in there to give you a little bit of a break. Sunshine now. 98 feels like 104 degrees. Here's the outlook. Dry line begins to retreat late tonight as the sun goes down, but it becomes more active and pushes towards us again tomorrow. Stalled out front to the north. It was not really a player in the forecast for us, but it is an indication the atmosphere is not changing much. We have a large ridge of high pressure in place across the region, so nothing is going to be changing too terribly much for us in the few days ahead to come. Uh, lows tonight, no cooler than 80 degrees in San, San Angelo. Tomorrow's high gets back up to near 100 degrees in many spots. It's going to be warm and humid for us overnight tonight, and it looks like a warm, humid day on the way for us tomorrow. Satellite and water vapor shows us a little bit of disturbance making its way into the Great Lakes region. And that's probably the big weather story for us today nationwide. Here's your Channel 6 7-day forecast where your weekend's always a view. Sun and clouds tomorrow. 20% chance of a rain shower. South winds 5 to 15 and gusty heat index tomorrow is going to make it to 102. Remember, we've already had two 100 degree days so far this season. The rest of the weekend and early next week looks like it's going to be considerably dry for us. So be mindful that uh, pace yourself on those uh, sprinklers. You don't want to run your water bill up too terribly high, too terribly quick for you. Here's a calendar, a lot going on. We talked about this yesterday. Uh, Salado hosting their first Texas History Fest, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Pancake breakfast at Stillwell Retirement Center, uh, Center on Saturday morning. And as I mentioned earlier, Troop 716 having their garage sale on Saturday as well. Big golf for junior golfers coming in on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Starburst now is spread out over four courses in the Waco area becoming a big deal. It, oh, it's been a big deal for a long time. It just <laughs> keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. A lot of golfers out there. Yes, indeed. All right, Andy, thank you.